Normally, people get retrenched, they relax about one or two months, they still can get a job. But why that I can't? Then why that my family want to eat one? I got diabetes, heart problem, then for the bones also. Sometimes I cannot move. Even I cannot sleep, cannot sit, cannot move at all. Bye, you fit. Bye. Huh? About three years of not working. Every day and night, so I was thinking this problem. What's the problem that I need? To do it like easy for my family. But it's quite difficult until I cannot get it. I won't share with my wife also because I don't want my wife to think about it. That is my problem for our family. I need to solve it. My family is not small. I got three daughters. One is a sec four, sec three, and the third one is primary three. I need to show my children that I really, really can survive to our family. I have asked him before that if like that, maybe you stay at home, I try and find work. But he said, no need. I'm the one who going to find the work. You think it's okay? It's okay. It's okay. He's always like that. He likes to keep all by himself. Mm. He don't like to tell me uh, what's the problem. Mm. If there any problem, he don't want to tell to me. Because mm. he know that way later, I also might be thinking. So he said, comfortable let like, it be to him only. <laughs> it's very sweet lah. Sweet like honey lah. Because every time he wants to do, like, I want to do that one, he said, you don't do, you just sit, I do. I don't like my wife doing alone. Because we are husband and wife. So we have to work together. What matter we're doing, we don't say, oh, this is my work, this is your work. No, we are not supposed to do that. Even though I'm helping my wife also, I'm feeling sad for myself also. Why that I'm not like previously before? Like we got a financial problem, I was thinking, where we supposed to find out for helping? I tried to go to this place, and then later on, I'll be changed my mind only. I feel shy, I don't wanna. Just forget it. And then I try to do something. Go and take a, a can inside the dustbin at the bus stop. People throw the thing we take, and we make money. <laughs> so I just keep on doing like that. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Hello, Encik Alias. Yes, Good morning, morning to you. Good morning. We got to know Mr. Alias through a door-to-door -door survey that we did under Community Link Initiative. When we link him up with a befriender, he has actually told us that his most uh, urgent need is to find a job to support the family. But through further engagement, we also found out that he has a lot of health needs and he hasn't been going for his medical appointments regularly as well. That is why we bring our coming partner, Good Life Coach Yerfen, to guide him in terms of his health. Your legs look mm. better the last time I remember. Mm. My earliest impression of Mr. Alias was that he is a typical Asian father who really cares for his family so much that he actually neglects his own uh, well-being and health. He mentioned to me in my first visit to his home that he was having this chronic knee pain. He sort of procrastinated a little bit on getting it checked because he wanted to work hard for the family, provide for the family. I really understood where he's coming from, being a father myself, and I wanted to help him in any possible way. Not being able to go out and do his daily activities was really a um, concern for him. So he really needed a mobility aid. With the help of MSF, they made that possible. I'm really, really very happy about the Kumlik. I'm observe myself. I got helping by my scooter. Even that, I want to go to hospital, so I got supporting from Kumlik. So everything was checked. So this is a part. It's good to me. My wife go to Sinsong. So whatever she buying, we need to bring back. I was carry all the things. Lucky the Kumlik come and knock the door. 
study buddy, bless and kids count that help me for my third daughter. Now I see it's improved lah because she like to read more now and learn. What I cannot do, thankfully that they come here and help help me lah. Help me burden a bit <laughs> because I'm the one who wait, the one to see him so stressful and burden for him lah. Never received like this kindness before. That's why I feel like to cry. So that's why I appreciate so much. I can also see that he's getting better. And he wants to eventually decrease the use of the motorized scooter and walk more on his own. For me, it's very fulfilling. Mr. Alias has learned to empower himself, take control of his health. And that for me is a sign of good things to come where he might one day be able to go back to the working world. I really, really hope myself that I can come back as a normal. That previously support my family. Uh, at the moment now, I will see my daughter always go big. She has a need of privacy. So I'm staying in a small house. This is renter. So actually, I need to buy the house for my children. In the future, when I close my eyes, at least they, they have a place to stay. So do you feel hopeful? Now? Yeah, I hope for. <laughs> Until now, I feel like when I can get, I try to get as soon as possible to myself. But I don't know when. <laughs> Maybe one or two years.